So I bought these two lights recently, um, both of them are Aperture. One was the 672S, uh, which is the spotlight version, which I did a little review on, you can see that on the channel. And then I bought this other one to kind of like supplement it as like a little kicker light. It was the Aperture 198, um, the daylight version. Um, obviously because bicolor gives you less uh, power. Um, and then I had a little brainwave. What if I attached the um, 198 to the bottom of the GH4, um, which is what I use when I'm doing my vlogs and stuff. So, now I've, I've managed to do it because it comes with this little adapter thing. So I've managed to do it and as you can see, I'm just gonna like increase the brightness here, whoa. So if I like turn it off, that's without the light. That's with the light. Now if you usually use something to hold like maybe a uh, Joby Gorilla Pod or something. Hold on, let me just increase. There we go. So if you use something like the um, Gorilla Pod or whatever, and you're outside in the dark, this could be a good um, alternative to that. Um, I use a GH4, which is absolutely shit in low light. Um, everyone knows that it's like ISO 800 is probably the maximum I'd ever use it. Maybe even less than that because it just starts to fall apart and it's a bit crap. So I just wanted to show you, uh, I'm going to find a little mirror here and you can just see how I've got this set up right now. And I mean look, I'm like perfectly, well I say perfectly, almost perfectly lit. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, I've got a daylight filter on it because it's daylight outside. So if you was inside your house and you've got tungsten lights, you can put the tungsten filter on, change your white balance to tungsten. So, have a look at this. As you can see, that's the light and it's got here, I don't know if we'll be able to see this. Here, it's got the, um, the little ball head with a hot shoe. And it's such a good little light. It's like really small and, you know, it costs, costs around 50 pounds uh, or, or less, depending. Um, and yeah, so I just like, I hold it at the bottom like this. And like, I'm, I suggest, Maybe you could get like a little grip for like here, where the hot, on the side there's like um, other hot shoe or cold shoe mounts available. Maybe you could get like a sort of handle, whatever. Ideally, if you had a, a cage for your camera, um, let me just turn that around. Ideally, if you had a cage for your camera, you could mount this like on the side or whatever easily. Um, but if you haven't got a cage or whatever, this is still a good solution. And it's it probably weighs the same. It's a little bit tiring on the arms, but you need that light and you, you don't want to have underexposed footage and you want to illuminate yourself and you want to look good on the camera. You know, I think this does a pretty good job and as well, you can use it as a spotlight. So like, let's say you're going to film uh, a desk. Okay, so you can just crank up the brightness and there you have like illuminated background. Cool. So that is the ultimate I wouldn't say ultimate vlogging setup because this camera's not ideal for vlogging, personally. Um, but the light itself, attaching it to the bottom of the hot shoe mount, and you can hold it like it was um, uh, a Gorilla Pod. You can move around with this, you know, it's very stable. It's actually, you actually get a better hand grip um, when holding it. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can adjust the brightness on the go. Maybe someone could invent like a handle grip but it's a light as well. So you can stay illuminated. Maybe I should just get into this business. Oh, who knows? Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you think this is a good good little solution? Maybe on the fly vlogging, maybe you're on a train or a plane and the light's shit and you need to like illuminate yourself. You could just pop this thing on, bam. And you've got the ultimate vlogging set up to stay lit. Stay lit while you're vlogging. Stay lit. <laughs>